Can AI systems, devoid of human supervision and fed their own outputs, discern truth from falsehood? It's a question that's both provocative and pertinent in our rapidly evolving digital age. As we explore the world of artificial intelligence, we stumble upon concepts such as model collapse and data poisoning. These phenomena are particularly prevalent in unsupervised AI large language models like ChatGPT and Google's BARD. But what does this mean? And more importantly, what does this mean for our understanding and perception of truth? Let's dive into the fascinating but complex world of artificial intelligence and truth discernment. Imagine a world where AI models become too dependent on patterns in generated data. This is the realm of model collapse, a predicament that's shaking the AI community to its core. In the vast universe of artificial intelligence, model collapse is akin to a black hole, sucking in the richness and diversity of information, leaving behind an oversimplified version of reality. It's a phenomenon where AI systems, especially large language models like ChatGPT and Google's BARD, become excessively reliant on patterns in the data they generate. Consequently, they overestimate the likelihood of probable events and underestimate the improbable ones. Let's paint a picture to illustrate this. Consider an AI tasked with creating a travel guide. It's fed data about popular tourist attractions, local cuisines, culture, and more. However, due to model collapse, it starts to focus too heavily on certain patterns. The result? It ends up ranking a food bank as a top attraction. Yes, you heard it right. A food bank instead of, say, a historic monument or a stunning national park. This is not a figment of imagination, but an actual instance of AI output going awry. Now, you may be thinking, why is this happening? Well, the reason is simple. These AI systems are not supervised by humans they are fed their own outputs, which they then use to generate more data. This self-feeding loop, devoid of human oversight, creates a skewed and garbled understanding of the world. In one example of an AI system fed its own output on the topic of medieval architecture for only nine generations, the self-feeding AI system soon degraded into talking nonsense about black-tailed jackrabbits, white-tailed jackrabbits, blue-tailed jackrabbits, red-tailed jackrabbits. It's like a game of Chinese whispers where the original message gets distorted with each iteration, eventually morphing into something entirely different and often nonsensical. This problem is not just about faulty travel guides. It's about the broader implications for our reliance on AI. As AI plays an increasing role in our lives from writing news articles to generating educational content, the risk of model collapse becomes ever more pertinent. It's a ticking time bomb, threatening to disrupt the seamless integration of AI into our daily routines. In essence, without human input, AI systems risk losing touch with reality, spiraling into a vortex of self-generated nonsense. You might wonder, why does this happen? The answer lies in the immaterial nature of truth. Truth is an immaterial entity. It doesn't have a weight, a location, or a speed. It isn't bound by the laws of physics. Yet, it governs our understanding of reality. We make decisions, form beliefs, and navigate our lives based on what we perceive as true. But how do we judge what's true and what's not? This judgment is a property of an immaterial mind, a mind that can think, reason, and discern. It's the ability to scrutinize information, to weigh evidence, to question, and to understand context. This is something that artificial intelligence, as of now, lacks. AI systems like ChatGPT and Google's BARD are not equipped with an immaterial mind. They don't understand truth. They process information, recognize patterns, and generate outputs based on algorithms and statistical models. But they can't discern whether the information they're processing is true or false, meaningful or nonsensical. They don't understand the difference between a renowned restaurant and a food bank. When these AI systems are fed their own outputs, they can't evaluate the truth or quality of these outputs. They can't prevent themselves from going off the rails of truth. They can't stop themselves from generating garbled nonsense. They are, in a way, blind to the truth. This problem underscores the limitations of AI and the necessity of the human mind in discerning truth. It highlights the importance of human supervision in managing and directing AI systems. It reminds us that while AI can assist us, it can't replace our capacity for judgment, our ability to discern truth from falsehood, our understanding of the world. And this, my friends, is where we begin to see the beauty, 
the complexity, and the irreplaceability of the human mind. It's where we start to appreciate the immaterial nature of truth. And it's where we realize that truth, in its most profound sense, is more than just data, more than just patterns, more than just algorithms. It's a fundamental aspect of our existence, a guiding force in our lives, an immaterial entity that resides in our minds and shapes our understanding of reality. This brings us to an intriguing philosophical argument known as the argument from truth. This argument is primarily derived from the thoughts of St. Augustine. It begins with the premise that our limited minds can discover eternal truths about being. These truths, by their very nature, need a place to reside, and that place is a mind. But here's the catch. The human mind, as we all know, isn't eternal. So, where do these eternal truths reside? The argument from truth suggests that there must exist an eternal mind where these truths find their home. This eternal mind, according to this argument, is what we understand as God. The existence of God, therefore, is a necessity, a prerequisite for the existence of these eternal truths. This argument raises some compelling questions about the nature of truth and our ability to comprehend it. It also sheds light on the limitations of artificial intelligence. As we've discussed, AI lacks the ability to discern truth since it lacks an immaterial mind. This lack of discernment is what leads AI models to go off the rails when fed their own input, resulting in a phenomenon known as model collapse. In essence, the argument from truth presents a fascinating perspective on the relationship between our minds, truth, and the existence of God. It suggests that truth is not just an abstract concept, but a tangible entity that resides in an eternal mind. So while our minds are not eternal, they are capable of discovering eternal truths that reside in an eternal mind. Interestingly, Christianity presents a unique perspective on truth. Unlike other religions where the pursuit or teaching of truth is central, Christianity boldly states that truth is not just an abstract concept to be learned or a destination to be strived for, but a person. Jesus in the Gospel of John chapter 14 verse 6 proclaims, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This declaration is monumental. Jesus is not merely a truth teller or guide to truth, but the very embodiment of it. Further, in John chapter 10 verse 30, Jesus asserts, I and the Father are one. This statement underlines a profound unity with God, the eternal mind where truth resides. In essence, Jesus is claiming to be God incarnate, the living manifestation of eternal truth. Contrast this with other religious figures who saw themselves as seekers or pointers to truth. Christianity's unique assertion is that truth is not merely a concept to be grasped or a path to be followed, but a person to be known. In this light, the issue of AI and truth discernment becomes not just a technological challenge, but a profound philosophical and theological inquiry.